I've been looking online for a uh, suitable set of plans to build a quadcopter frame, and I really couldn't find one. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, how to build this. This is the basic frame. And uh, actually, I'll give you dimensions because that seems to have been lacking on some of these uh, uh, forums. And uh, very easy to put together, very inexpensive, very rugged. And so this would be part one in the build on this thing. But at least get you started until you get the electronics in. But that's the what it looks like. These are the pieces you need to build the uh, quadcopter frame. Uh, four of, uh, of these. These are hardwood pieces I picked up at the local uh, Home Depot. Um, three quarter inch square by 12 inches. And a piece of poplar, uh, seven and a half inches by 24 inches, and then from that. You cut it down, and you have a piece, two of these, you need two of these, and a couple of nuts and bolts, and I'll uh, give you the dimensions, and uh, then the final, I'll uh, show you what it finally looks like when it's uh, completed, that's the basic frame, and uh, what it looks like when it's assembled, and it's all, also its weight. So, I haven't found anything on a YouTube that... Uh, gives the dimensions for any of these, but I'm starting with this, and maybe be helpful uh, for others on uh, online to see. Dimensions for the uh, quad frame. We have a piece of poplar. Actually, there are two pieces. And they're separated by the thickness of the rod, that, or actually the wooden piece that goes right in here. This, of course, is not the scale. Okay. And you have uh, several of those, four of them to be exact. these are at 90 degrees from each other okay. so this is an exploded view of that <clears throat> you're going to have a couple of holes here and these will contain some screws and they'll go through and you'll have some washers and bolts here to catch those guys. So anyhow, what are the uh, dimensions that we, we need? Well, you can pick these up already cut. Hardwood pieces, about 12 inches long and three quarters of an inch square. You need four of those. required and um, this is a hardwood uh, poplar is pretty good for that um, you'll also need the plates and those plates could be made out of poplar as well and the dimensions on those plates seven and a half inches square
and you cut two of those and two required. So you'll see these, uh, what they actually look like um, in the, uh, the rest of the video. So you'll also need, uh, let's see, the bolts, uh, inch and a half, 632nd bolts, and you need uh, eight of those. You'll need 16 number six washers. And let's see, you're going to need eight uh, 632nd nuts. All right, let's get on with the uh, video, see what this actually looks like uh, when you assemble it. You'll notice how this is assembled. The uh, 632nd bolts, inch and a half long, uh, are placed. These are two inches on center. Quarter inch poplar. Notice that the beams do not meet in the center. If you look at this little diagram here, this is essentially what's going on. They will come up to this point. This uh, forward bolt is a quarter inch from the end of the beam. And this particular square is where the flight control board would be mounted. And if this is an X configuration, you could have one of these corners as being forward. For example, that could be forward as the orientation. Alright, what we have now is the, uh, I'll look for the weight of this thing. And there we have 18.8 ounces is the weight of the uh, basic frame. 